What's up, everybody? This is Rob Barrington, and this is day two of our weekly challenge. It's Tuesday, which means it's boards three and four. We got off to a reasonably good start. Uh, first board was just kind of a normal part score, and the second board was a nice vulnerable game that we just uh, left off with last week. And here we are starting off Tuesday with this hand. We're going to just make a normal natural bid here of one diamond. Uh, these are the types of hands, it's just in general, I'm thinking of hoping I find a major suit fit. Uh, but if not, I don't mind trying to find some sort of no trump action. This is a weird spot. I, I, uh, I'm i tempted to raise to two hearts uh, and that might get partner to do something great for us. But in general, with seven card suits, I don't just mind rebidding those right away. And if partner takes another call, that's when we might be able to consider uh, doing something else. But here, they just pass. And uh, lucky for us, raising hearts wasn't that great for us. All right, so here, take a second. Look at the hand. We're in another part score. Do you think we're upset that we missed uh, no trump in any way? Take a look. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> At least not game, right? So the lead or at least what we do with the lead is is frequently going to be determined by how we want to play the hand. So always always make your plan before you play a card. If you just look at this club suit, you would want to play usually low to the king first and then the ace, high card short side, just as a, as a normal kind of good declare play mechanic. However, um, you really want to be in dummy to be leading a diamond toward the king. Right? That, that's an important play, especially considering how many you have. You have nine of them. Uh, and what else are we going to want to be in dummy for uh, at any point real soon? Well, we might be able to get there with a heart anyway. But other than that, you know, there's nothing. There's no other finesse that we're going to need to be taking. Right. No, no, no huge reason that we want to be in that north hand right? other than this play in diamonds. So we want to win that ace of clubs, or at least I do. I want to win the ace of clubs just so I can put this jack of diamonds on the table and see what happens. And now we're, we're at a guess, right? Uh, a good, and this is what's good about the robots, uh, especially since they don't cover all these honors anymore. Uh, sometimes they can, they, when they play, they play very smoothly, meaning there's no, there's no hesitation. There's no nothing here. So I would tend to, even in this spot, say that the ace is more likely to be in the ace player's hand or it's ace queen to our left. Uh, just because they will cover this frequently with just the queen. Um, but again, a total guess, right? And the, the weird thing about this is it's 2-2, two, two, right? If it's breaking evenly. So that's why this is important. Usually we don't play the jack when we're missing the ace and queen. We almost never are going to play jack to the king and expect to get... Uh, to expect to lose less than two tricks, right? We're kind of giving them two tricks when they play that right. Here, because of the count, you know, this might be right. And uh, it's imps, so it doesn't really make a huge difference either way. And it wouldn't really make that huge of a difference if we're playing match points either. Here we get to just see what's going on first in hearts before we make our decision. And now we will just play a diamond and take a look. It was ace-queen to our left, so... As kind of kind of as expected, I think. I mean, in in my experience, and this is another weird one, leading the ten of hearts here. Uh, in my experience, when you don't see them cover, you know, it's it's probably more likely just that it's, it's to our left. Um, this, yeah. If we play low, it, here's the thing: the king is just because of the way they've played this, the king is just almost certainly to our right. So the only way we might gain here is if we play low and they only have the king, right? Which also seems very unlikely, by the way. It seems like lefty short and hearts on this sort of play. So here we will, if they are short, if we see the king, it's just embarrassing bad. <laughs> and now we play nine of diamonds. And it looks like we're gonna do okay here. And in a real world situation, if you're playing with, you know, maybe players that aren't necessarily paying attention, you would just kind of run diamonds and maybe hope somebody does something weird, but the robots don't do anything weird. <laughs> and there, the King of Hearts was on our right. So, um, nothing great, but we went plus. That's always good when we're playing imps, especially. 
Uh, and we can take a look. The left-hand opponent there, uh, pretty nice hand for just doing nothing. Right, same with East. We knew they had a reasonable amount of points over there, uh, and just everything was bad for us in this one. Right, so I wouldn't expect uh, anything different at the other table. And that's when you're playing imps, especially. I mean, anytime, anytime you're playing like a heads-up type thing, like the even when we play the challenges with the robots and match points. It's the same. We're playing a heads-up thing. We can usually do a reasonable job at gauging it, like you've seen throughout these uh, first few. So, so far, so good, it looks like. All right, let's see this next one. Mm, bam. Not too bad. 22 solid. So, we'll start with two clubs and rebid two no trump. That's how we're going to do that. And this is important to remember. When when we start this way, just recognize that this is the exact same as if we open two no trump ourselves, right? So we play all the same systems. Whatever you play over your opening two no trump bid, whatever structure, and sometimes that can be quite advanced, you play the same thing here. And you might even adjust sometimes slightly over two clubs, but here just picture this exactly like normal. And once again, your partner's in control unless they give you some sort of option here. And in imps, you're going to choose the safest option usually. And that looks like four spades, right? Picture a hand where partner has bad, oh, <laughs> picture this hand, when partner has bad clubs. Uh, and this one, our hand is so strong. We have so many tricks. It's really not going to make a huge difference. But if we have a little bit more weakness here and that club suit is, is as bad as it is, we certainly would prefer spades just with our, our shape, okay? Uh, the play isn't going to be that complicated, but uh, why don't you guys make a plan and uh, and we'll go from there. <laughs> Let's see how we can play the sand to the best of our abilities here. And I'm, I'm going to start by drawing Trump, right? We, we know we have tricks on top of tricks. In fact, uh, this is one of those times where we, we talk about counting losers in a suit contract. Uh, it's good to count losers. It's also very good to count winners, especially when you have a whole bunch of them. So here, if you just look at your winners, you have four diamonds, five spades for nine, right? The ace of clubs for 10 and the ace of hearts for 11. You can just also recognize the pattern of, oh, this is one of those hands where I am short in the trump suit, meaning if I draw the trump, I'm going to be out in one of the hands, this hand. And... I am relatively short in a side suit. Right, so when you see that happening, you want to recognize early that this is an opportunity for an extra trick. Now we're playing imps. Some of you may be saying, well, what the heck does it matter, right? We're playing imps. It doesn't really make a huge difference, these extra tricks. Uh, well, when they're free, you take them, right? And this is as free as you can get, right? You're not uh, in any fear of of having a devastating shift that's going to beat your contract, okay? So so in the spots like this, you, you want to take all the tricks that you possibly can. In match points, this would be exceptionally important. And imps, it could be one imp, but, you know, we're not in the business of throwing away imps. So here, if it's super safe, and see how safe this is? You're roughing with a good trump. And now for safety's sake <laughs> and for efficiency, you can overtake the ace of spades, so you can draw trump continually. You could also have let a low diamond to the jack, but that's a that's a tiny bit more risk. It's not like it's getting roughed either, but still, overtake because they're all the same. And now you draw trump until they're done, which will be here. Uh, but if you, this is one of those times where if you're worried, you can afford it. <laughs> but here, we, we should not have been worried if we're counting. We know what's going on. And that's plus 680 on the card. Don't look at this and say, oh my goodness, we should have been in a slam. Well, I mean, it... It is a slam that we just expect to make a lot of the time. However, what about on a heart lead? Can we do it? Take a look. Doesn't look like it, right? In fact, let's take a look. Let's see what the robots say. What, is the, what does a heart lead get us? Yeah, it gets us only plus one, right? Which is making five. You see the reason? We had to give up a club to be able to rough a club successfully. Right, so technically, this is a bad slam. Not technically, it just is a bad slam because there's a, a clear path to beat it. Now, I'm not suggesting that here, West is going to figure out to plunk down the king of hearts right into the teeth of the two club opener. Obviously, that's ridiculous, but just understand that the slam isn't as great as you think it is you know, just because it's making 12 tricks. All right, guys, that is uh, episode two again. 
Not too bad so far. Not too bad. I'll try to be more focused and ready for the next several days because we have four more days. Wait, I'm extending the week. Three more days. <laughs> Don't freak out, guys. Only three more days left in the week. Join me tomorrow for another edition of the weekly challenge. And we'll try to get this done for another victory, guys. Take care.